My pussy! Shut up! Shut up, pussy! Hello, welcome to Easy Company Gaming Collectibles, and today we're gonna do another uh, buy or pass. So this is another installment of the buy or pass. If you're new to it, I I, I give you my my generalization of a figure and what I think of it, and should you buy or should you pass on this figure. And today we're looking at this Sideshow. First time for me, Sideshow Collectibles. I don't usually do Sideshow Collectibles because I think they always tear down. Like, they always come short of the um, the hype and all that stuff like Hot Toys does with their realism. Like, like for example, my recent one, Hot Toys Han Solo from The Force Awakens. They're just amazing on the sculpts and everything like that. And Sideshow always just looks weird. Like the recent uh, Luke Skywalker Rogue, Rogue one. Not Rogue One, but the Rogue pilot uh, that he did. Just didn't look like Luke Skywalker to me, and I just totally hated that one. But today we're looking at the Snowtrooper Commander that just got released out of the Sideshow. And here it is. It's it's written on that 209 good for Sideshow. I, I, I did emails and complaints about their pricing being extremely high, especially in that Luke Skywalker one I was talking about. And golly, man, that thing is high. But this one's 209, price at 209. Estimated arrival time is January 2018 to March 2018. Um, with this guy, you're getting your basic stuff you get with Sideshow. Unfortunately, they do not give that much. Um, they're adding, you'll see another exclusive looking, uh, not exclusive, but extra blaster. Uh, you don't get the fancy base like Hot Toys. You don't get all that stuff. Um, one pair of snow boots, 11 blaster, DL44 heavy blaster, uh, therm belt mounted thermal detonator which is like this is all standard except for that heavy blaster that DL44 uh, the snow trooper commander has a different looking attire to him he has a uh, more of a hard shell face cover look to him and a weird looking thing going over with his nose and nostrils and whatnot but let's go over some of what the picks look like and as you can see here's this uh, snow trooper commander uh, his nose, that's what I've been talking about. Um, everything. Excuse my pussy. Um, uh, the armor is pretty much snow trooper armor. Um, as you can see the, in the back, there's a snow troopers from side. This is all sideshow stuff. The boots are different. They're more like the AT-80 uh, in the Empire Strikes Back, the AT-80 uh, driver or pilot, whichever one you want to call it. He has those kind of boots, and as you can see in the background, I have a... It's not here. I thought I, I, thought I had it here. My Hot Toys uh, Snow Trooper. My pussy! Shut up! Shut up, pussy! Pussy! But um, my Hot Toys Snow Trooper, like, that thing is spot on. I love that thing. I love that thing to death. That thing is, like, one-to-one -one with the... Um, um, snow troopers from shut up uh, echo base excuse my pussy and the snow troopers from sideshow is really like I don't like it at all it's just look at it look just look at them they're just like pancake faces I don't like it not knee numb pancake but like somebody hit them in the face with a truck or something I don't know and as for the uh, rest of the figure his I think this area like where his skirt comes across and all that stuff is a little bit different with the captain or commander and it kind of falls differently this one he's like he looks more of a cartoony type of a person like he is in the empire strikes back if you see where the i think the officer is in with the atat -AT pilot while he's driving or driver and he's in the back he's like the commander i think for all the snow troopers squadron here you can see his little dl44 blaster that he has i'd imagine this whole entire hand comes off um, and just like this is another difference, um, he has gloves, like almost half forearm gloves going over his, um, his whole entire van brace right there. So the snow trooper doesn't have that. And he also has, what you can see is the holster for that little DL-44 and badging over here. That designates that he's a commander. And as you can see, he has that kind of a hard shell looking mask over him. Um, the, the fabric, I'm not too familiar with Sideshow's, uh, Snow Troopers, but as far as Hot Toys went, it scored 100 out of 100 with it. They just, 
they immaculately got that sweater feel to it. Like it, you really feel like if I put this thing on, although it's so small, I don't know what you would put it on. But um, if you put that on, it's going to be like really hot. Like it, I don't know if it would, but it's like sweater material. This one looks like it's trying, but it's still too thin and cottony. You can see how it piles up right there. It's a little bit thin. And on the Hot Toys one, it's really thick and bulky and it's like sweater. And it really feels like, you know, that's 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 some good stuff. And as far as weathering goes, this guy doesn't have much. Um, I don't know if it's because he's a commander and he stayed up in the ATAT -AT and whatnot. But I don't see much of a weathering effect on him. Um, it, oh, he also has these two little silver things at the side. Um, his helmet shape's a little bit different, too. And over here, this is different. Um, I wish I had my snow trooper in front of me so I can actually tell and look at things. The belt, I would assume, I think is, this, I think is the same. Um, here is the E11 blaster it comes with. They're doing, uh, the paint. It's like, to me, that they're not, it's, it's, it's almost like $150 they should be selling these figures for. I, I don't know, like... I know how much people gripe, like, oh my god, it's so much work and costs and the, the rent they have to pay, their workers. I know, but, I mean, when you're in the consumer world, we pick at you like it, like you have no expenses and you're making this stuff out of magic and you better sell it to us for free. Or at least free plus no tax and no free shipping. But I just pick at them because it just, for 200 some dollars, like, come on. But... Um, as you can see, it's like little, looks like, doesn't even look like weathering to me. It looks like it just like kind of grazed places here and there. And it kind of like in, in, in production, like, oh, okay, the paint's off there. Yeah, we'll just leave that as weathering. And here's the DL44. Looks like some type of snow effect to me, but I, I, I su assume they're trying to achieve the weathering effect of the steel coming through the black paint. So that comes with a holster and whatnot, as you can see that. It, it, it still remains to look like, to me, it's plastic. It's obviously it's trying to be leather or some type of clothy material. But to me, it's just looking so plastic. I just, Sideshow does not, to me at least, a lot of people love it. A lot of people love it to death. That's why they're so big. But, and I don't like it as much. As you can see, there's some type of uh, control system right there. Maybe it's a little, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Over here towards the back, he doesn't have one of those snowtrooper backpacks, the big, big old backpack that snowtroopers carry around, or a jump pack, which the jump pack is strictly Battlefront. Um, it's a movie masterpiece by Hot Toys. They're, they're a little mix on that, which I did get. I, I, I mean, if I not going to have a jet pack, I can have a jet pack. Um, as you can see, the whites don't match. I don't like that. I'm not sure if that's shade because of the shade or shadows on it, but the whites don't match. Um, there's not enough weathering on it for me. I mean, he is a commander. He's probably sitting pretty up in AT-AT, -AT, but I know sometimes you have to get boots on the ground. And even when, I don't know, if it might, I think it does go to his boots. I'll show you the boots in a second. It doesn't even have dirty dirtiness on his boots, so come on now. Another face, um, uh, shot. And over here you can see it's not green. It's not the emerald green like the other troopers, which is another thing that I'm kind of like, heh. But I'm not too sure if the commander, I can't remember distinctly if the commander actually had green emerald eyes or was it black? Because I see Sideshow kind of cheap off, like their AT-80 -AT doesn't have correct marking here and there, like itsy bitsy tiny things. Like, why don't you just paint correctly? Like, I don't know what that is. Maybe correct me if I'm wrong, um, but just do it correctly. Um... As you can see, another pose from him. I would assume a fully articulated double jointed, double jointed knees and elbows, torso or abdomen crunch and all that. The the head swivel though, it's kind of fishy because I, I haven't seen this guy looking up or down or side to side much. It's just pretty much straightforward, forward. It's not going anywhere. So that head articulation must be garbage because he has obviously he has that hard plastic looking thing. Oh, there it is. And as you can see, the boots aren't as dirty as well aren't dirty at all and i don't like that i like i like work put into these multi hundred dollar figures because you're paying that much amount of money but maybe he's uh, one of them guys that never got dirty i don't know i don't know the background i don't know the canon on him but i like weathering i like work and there's none at all on him it's just straight up 
and that pussy keeps going again. And as for the base, like I said, they don't have great bases. I mean, yeah, if you put in like, oh, but back to this thing, if you put in a great looking picturesque thing and lighting and background and blurriness and then focusness, of course, it's going to look amazing. But you see the background. I mean, look how horrible these face masks are from Sideshow. And they are, like, displaying it like it's a gem. But, I mean, do what you want. It's your company, not mine. I just buy the thing. Or will I? And it just, for me, like, back to the base, you don't get a base at all. Like, what the heck is up with that? You don't get a base at all. Practically none. It's just a hexagonal block. I would expect some more Star Wars-y themed, at least do some themes in there. I would pay an extra 10 or 20 bucks if they if they gave a nice base with it. It would make it more of a premium figure. It would make you feel like you just got something premium instead of getting a toy, like, like a Jack Specific 12-inch little thing that just articulates like a Roboto Mr. Rigato. So I would like to see that, but they're not doing it. And I emailed them. I was like, do the damn stands because you can't do nothing else good. So do some blocks with some paint or some art or some texture. And as for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass on this guy. Although he's a snow trooper commander, one of them, oh my God, hard to find kind of guys. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go for it. So if you like what you saw here in Easy Company Gaming Collectibles, make sure you subscribe, like, and share the videos. Like the videos to show your support. Um, thank you to all your subscribers who, who, who stays tuned and all that stuff. And, and, um, really thank you for, um, having to put up with my pussy.